A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. It is the first Tuesday of the month and that as always means that there is a new rotation of free assets available on the Epic Marketplace. This month, for the month of November, we are being given clothing and shoe stores, physical interaction system, universal camera, loft office and animated rain. And these assets, as usual, you can get just by going to the free category and clicking free for the month. In addition to that, we also have in the permanently free collection a new asset here called, uh, I believe it was this one, Low Poly Style Deluxe 2 Tropical Island. So let's check these assets out. Starting off, we have the clothes and shoe pack. Now this pack consists of approximately a little bit over a hundred unique meshes and is set up in this demonstration level as a sort of uh, mall-like area where we have a bunch of different stores. So we have a few different stores that are created in a few different ways, showing off the different uh, clothes, hats, shoes, mannequins and other assets that are available in this pack. It's a fairly straightforward pack, it's just a a grouping of uh, the diverse assets and this representation here in the mall is essentially what you can expect to get out of it. Um, overall pretty straightforward, uh, looks pretty okay I think, the demonstration level does a good job of showing off what you can do with the pack. Let's take a quick look at the overview. So here we have the overview map. And you can see we have our different modular pieces that make up the ceiling, walls, floors and such things of the actual mall. We also have the roof parts, the door parts, glass panes, things like that. And here you can see the clothes, shoes and different racks that they have made available, uh, along with some mannequins as well. And then some various combinations of these. And some shoes, bags, static meshes and then some diverse interior elements here like uh, palm trees, not palm trees, uh, plants, uh, walls, fire extinguishers, seating arrangements and such things. Also some logo types that you can use as signs. And yeah, here is a compilation of blueprints where they're put together. So that's that pack in short. Next up we have the loft office uh, pack. And this is a modular pack that's meant to uh, sort of bring together a sort of loft-like feeling with uh, small spaces and some interiors for it. So you can see if you go out here, this is sort of a loft emulation, if you will, of what a office could look like. And in this pack you get three different uh, maps. You get a workspace, a kitchen and a cabinet. Um, the lighting is a little bit dark in my opinion and doesn't really show it off that well. Uh, the demonstration pictures that are on the page is uh, they are much clearer to, to demonstrate what actually um, is given in this asset pack. Um, but let's take a look at another one so you can see. So here we have uh, the kitchen. Very cramped small area as you can see this uh, room is even smaller than the last one. But you can see that you have the, the sinks and the stove and some furniture to eat at and such. So all of these could be brought together as a sort of complete pack of uh, different uh, loft-like rooms if you want to. Or they could just be made standalone to be uh, uh, furnishing a interior of a home if you wanted to do that as well. Next up we have the animated rain, water drop material and effects. So what this is, is a collection of different rain related um, effects essentially. Um, you have among other things these effects where <coughs> rain is falling on the table, on the chairs, on the ground and you can see the effects of it. If we move into this uh, post process volume you can see that we get sort of these uh, rain droplets on our camera. Uh, we can see there are some rain effects going on. We also have things like uh, these windows, which if we go on the inside here, we can see that they have sort of a effect on them playing as well here, uh, which is done by a material, <coughs> excuse me, by a material. And you could go in there and just uh, change settings here to be like uh, 
higher flows of the water droplets go down further and faster. So you have a bunch of different material uh, parameters you can make use of to toy around with different settings here. So some of these are just materials that are being used, some of them are being used for post-processing effects. Um, so yeah, if uh, rain is what you want, this asset has a bunch of different related things to it. Next up we have a physical interaction system and that is exactly what it is. Essentially what you have here are a bunch of different uh, components and blueprints that you can uh, change parameters for and have certain behavior on. Uh, and you have these rooms here which describe the different uh, parts, the different types of behavior that you can achieve and how they will be uh, working during uh, tick functions of the blueprint code that they're executing inside of. Uh, to demonstrate this we have this little room here where we can go in. So we start, let's not go into simulate mode, let's go into play mode. And essentially what you have here is uh, you have this little marker in the middle which represents your interaction uh, which allows you to start interacting with the world. So we can go over here to these uh, blocks and we can click and we can lift them up and have them uh, be affected in the world like we were sort of grappling them in a sense. And then you can go up to something like the window and you can drag and you get this hand to show that you're interacting with it and you can use it to drag the window up, for example. And there are a bunch of different uh, types of interactions that are being shown off here as well. Uh, the chair here is another one that's essentially just grabbing hold of the chair so you can move it. Uh, this door is a little bit more on the complex side. It has a, uh, a handle you can drag down and once you drag it down you have so essentially unlocked the door and from that point on you can open and close the door if you wanted to. Um, you also have things like buttons and levers, so you have this lever here you can drag up and down like so. And you can also use the button next to it to spin something around there. Uh, again this is the same thing, it's a handle but with some combination locks, so the combination locks works the same. You can click to start interacting with it and then you can move your mouse around to have it swivel around the movements of your mouse. So as you can see with the mouse and the hand the, the movement corresponds to what you expect from physically interacting with an object in the world. So this is actually a pretty cool pack and you can go up to drawers and this is probably popular for the people that want to do horror games. You can uh, open up uh, drawers and get items from the drawers. So in this case we have a flashlight so we can if I can just manage to get the drawer up fully, which I am unable to do currently for some reason. So I can't grab the flashlight. I can sort of grab the flashlight. I have the flashlight and now we can throw it away if we want. Uh, and you also have a chest which works in a similar fashion. You uh, click to interact and then you can open it by dragging up and down or open and close it I guess. And also you have objects in there where you can pick up from the chest that are also uh, implemented in the same way. So essentially what you're doing is you're adding interactability to objects in your world uh, where you feel that they are uh, useful in certain ways. And so as you can see the example project here shows a bunch of different ways you can approach this. Uh, so this is actually a pretty cool pack in that uh, regard in my opinion. Um, so do check it out. The last part is going to be our universal camera. Now since this is a plugin, this is essentially the, the demo uh, showing off the, the camera, different ways that it can be used for. Uh, this is a plugin, so it's a little bit more involved to get in place to uh, actually demonstrate. So I might make a different video about this possibly um, afterwards. But essentially what this is, is a camera system that's meant as sort of a translation layer between uh, the user that's coding and the camera. So it's a, about uh, creating uh, an easier way to get certain functionality that is useful in a lot of different uh, games and projects essentially. So among the different features that the asset sports are things like uh, screen sliding, uh, rotating around pivots, uh, mouse drags, edge scrolling, 
adapting the camera to terrain heights, uh, movement and zooming, um, following different actors. It also mentions things like uh, placeholder cameras and uh, async travel functions and saving and loading. But I, I'm not entirely sure what that is supposed to be uh, meaning in this specific case when it comes to a camera uh, system. So anyway, uh, if you are interested in a camera system that will make it a little bit easier, this might be something to check out. It has a fairly good uh, documentation as far as I could see. Here we have the documentation and you can see that it lists uh, all the different things that we have mentioned essentially. Uh, so you can go to the different parts and you can go and see how do you set up something to get edge scrolling for example. Uh, it, it describes how the plugin works with using a, a desired location for a specific act, a camera to make it, instead of actually moving the camera itself, you're, you're sort of setting a a point where you want the camera to be and look at and then it sort of translates towards that desired point in time um, and and it's making use of also uh, lag settings and such to make it smoother uh, so it has a bunch of functionality to uh, make this a little bit more i don't know maybe uh, a lower threshold to get somewhere without having to involve yourself so much in uh, the specifics if you want to achieve something specific like uh, edge scrolling for example if maybe that doesn't interest you then this could be something to, to check out for sure last out we have this month's permanently free asset and again it's going to be a low poly one like the last at least two months i think and again it's going to be one that looks pretty darn neat in my opinion so this is what you will be getting. You have this sort of island environment, tropical island with your different palms and your rocks for your mountains. And you have this huge volcano in the back with its plume of smoke over here, along with some pirate ships, because why not? Uh, and some more over there um, and some water effects and such things. So it's uh, also a, a uh, lighthouse. So it's a, it's a pretty nice looking asset pack when you have everything combined. Let's take a look at the overview. So here we are in the overview map and you can see that the different assets are categorized. We have uh, grouping for the beach, some for the flora, some miscellaneous. This is going to be a waterfall, I believe. It says light shaft, but it looks sort of like a waterfall. Not entirely sure what it was used for in the demonstration level. Uh, you have some mountains, you also see some bigger chunks here in the background, some platforms, pirate ship with an assortment of different booty and loot over there, uh, treasure apparently in the form of, no it's actually coins, it looked like molten gold by the, from a distance, uh, everything looking very very low poly and not very detailed but uh, it fits together pretty well I would say. Uh, and then you have some volcano related assets here as well and some water and here's a waterfall. It, doesn't look exactly like this one so maybe this one was something different so here you have the waterfall at least and some other water planes and some of the different uh, stylized uh, clouds as well and of course the volcano the centerpiece of it all so yeah this is uh, the asset that is permanently free so you don't need to get it this month if you want to make use of it uh, but it fits very well together with the other low poly things that have been released earlier so you might be able to make something pretty grandiose by putting those together uh, i think anyway uh, that is going to be all for now uh, let me know in the comments if there was a asset you thought was extra good or really bad or anything else you wanted to tell me and uh, that's all keep on learning take care hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care